Hey there YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a review and real stress test on this PowerSmart generator. It is model number MB5040B and I got this for 300 bucks shipped. This is just a backup for my Generac standby generator just to keep the furnace running. Here's the side of it. Here's the fuel shut off. Oil level check. The rear of the unit the side of the unit and the carburetor and everything and the choke it does have a choke and here's the front panel so it has a DC plug like a car plug a grounding screw eco mode engine switch a little meter that tells you the voltage the runtime and the Hertz or the frequency of the power it's outputting has an oil level light and an overload light. Has an overall AC breaker for the 30 amp. Uh, an AC breaker for the 20 amp. That doesn't actually work. Keep watching. Um, it's got two 5-20Rs and one locking 30 amp 120 volt plug. It's a L5-30, I believe. And I did buy this plug here on Amazon for 17 bucks, so I could test the 30 amp side of the circuit fully. I was a little nervous overloading the 20 amp side. It's got a fuel vent. It's got a fuel level meter, which is like an analog chintzy one. It says it's empty right now, but I can hear it sloshing. Yeah, without further ado, let's get to testing. First pull. So just in case you don't want to watch the whole video, uh, it kept dying when I was applying 3000 watt load to it. Turns out the oil level was low, so even though I filled to the H on, on the dipstick, after running it for a while, it actually went down. I don't know if it was because of break-in or what, but the oil that came out of it was really black. So, take that for what you will. This has been sitting outside all night. It's 25 degrees out right now. We're going to see how easy it is to start. Make sure the engine switches on the on position. I'm going to turn off eco mode. I turn the choke all the way on. And the gas on. Alright. Give it a second for the gas to flow in. Maybe I'll level this a little better. There we go. Now it's level. smoothly. Alright, let's plug a load into it. Space heater one is on. We're at 
12.4 amps, 12.4, 12.3. Let's try the second space heater at half power. Second space heater is at a half power. Uh, the kilowatt does not like that many amps going through it. It's blinking. All right, 17 amps. 17 amps going through it. Let's go for gold. High power. Twenty point seven four, twenty point nine, twenty one amps. Twenty one amps sustained. All right, and <clears throat> my mic died. So um, here I have a blower fan hooked up to it, in addition to the two space heaters. And I think I hit twenty five amps before it turned off. Uh, looks like twenty three amps, but. Um, keep watching, I do additional testing. And just in case you're wondering, the 20 amp breaker did not trip. It, the machine just shut off. Just a few minutes into the test, the light turned off, or the generator turned off, and I heard it as I was going back in the house. It's not good. I was only loading it with 1500 watts from one space heater. It's uh, 3.39 and 30 seconds, and it turned off again. Go get some fresh gas. I'm going to dump this gas out and rule that out. All right. Suffered through the horrible ads to get a fresh tank of gas for the generator. Let's get every last drop. Fresh gas. Let's see how this goes. Alright, so it died an hour or so after I started it. I'm gonna try to see what's going on here. Yeah, that oil is not a dipstick. So, hmm. I properly disposed of the old oil and gave it a fresh oil change. The oil that came out of it was really black. It's as black as that generator cover there. Let's see if it'll actually run the space heater for more than an hour. So I've been running this with two space heaters now, going full bore. So that's 3,000 watts, roughly. Uh, this blower fan is rated at 500 watts. And I'm going to plug this into the 30 amp circuit as well. It might trip the AC breaker because it's getting really close to 30 amps, but let's give it a shot. All right, here we go. light came on for a second there. So that is really working it. Alright, so it is running with... Alright, so if my kilowatt was accurate before, this is running at 25 amps. 3,000 watts. It's rated for 3,600. 
I really don't know if I want to test it any more than that. And quite frankly, I've run out of both resistive and inductive loads. I turned off the fan and I got the Wagner heater on now at 500 watts. So we're again at 25 amps. When I switch the fan back on, it runs at 500 watts, so that's right around 5 amps. So this will be hitting straight up 30 amps on this generator. So let's see what happens. Overload light is on. So I'm not gonna stress it. Now I know the overload light works. Let's try it one more time. I thought it was the oil light previously. Yeah, it's flashing overload. It's on it's on solid during startup, but it blinks once it's running, so. I am pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed with this $300 generator right now, if you can hear me. All right, I'm gonna purposely overload this thing and see if it protects itself. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. I'll turn on the inductive load first. All right, we're running steady. No. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the Wagner heat gun to full power, which is 1,000 watts. So we have 1,000 watts, 500 watts, 1,500 watts, and 1,500 watts. If you're doing math at home, that's like 4,500 watts starting power. Let's see if it can hold it for a second. So, I don't want to burn it out, but it was just at 4,500 watts right there for two seconds, and it didn't die. Let's try that again. Yeah, okay. So, interestingly enough, interestingly enough, the 30 amp breaker didn't trip just like the 20 amp breaker didn't trip, but the overload light did turn on, so. All right, let's let this thing cool down. Let's try eco mode. Oh. just so you can get a feel for the sound eco mode makes. That's pretty quiet. And for comparison, here's the decibels with it off. Alright, I almost forgot to check the actual power coming off this, so it's rainy and wet, so good time to stick probes into outlets.